Hello, my name is Kylie, and I'm a communications officer for the Waterloo Region District School Board. Today, we are speaking to Vicki Page, a hairstyling and aesthetics teacher at Glenview Park Secondary School. Thank you for joining us today, Vicki. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Hairstyling and aesthetics is very hands-on. How have you adapted your classes to a distance learning format? At the beginning of this, I really had to think about how am I gonna run my course with my students not having the tools that they use every day in the classroom. My students have gotten creative and I would say we have successfully adapted. Um, we've had family members step in for students to practice their breeding and their styling techniques. Um, we've used different household items to show different degrees and elevations of haircutting. And my grade 12s, so they've been working on their business proposals and their marketing package to create their own beauty businesses, which encourages them to explore career paths in the industry. What has been your main learning focus during distance learning? Above all, my main focus has been student well-being. We learn a lot about the elements of design in the hairstyling and aesthetics program, but our curriculum also covers topics like well-being, mindfulness, and self-care. We often get so busy in the class with our hands-on learning that we don't get to focus as much on those topics as I would like to. The distance learning has really allowed us to focus on these topics. As we go through this pandemic, is there anything you would incorporate into your course that you haven't in the past? Well, safety's always been taken very seriously in my classroom, and I think all technology teachers would agree on this. Last week, I had my students do their certification through Barbicide, which is a highly regarded sanitation company in our industry. Uh, my students took their certification in the COVID-19 Professional Safe and Handling Procedures, so I will be incorporating this into my course at the beginning of every semester. The certification just reiterates our day-to-day -day safety procedures with the added safety that they're going to need to take when we get back into the classroom. It's to my understanding that there are only two programs within our board. How have you collaborated with your colleague during this time? Well, Julie Hillwood, who's the amazing hairstyling teacher at KCI, and I have been able to do some really fun collaborations during this time. One example would be back in May, we joined forces and we asked our students to create hairstyles and makeup design to honor Star Wars Day. So we had some amazing and creative submissions come in and we've been able to highlight that work between our students on our Instagram pages. And lastly, if there's one thing you might share with your students to reassure them during this time of distance learning, what would that be? Well, I want my students to know that even though we're distant, we're still connected and that part has never changed. I want them to know that between myself, my caring colleagues and our support staff at our school, we're still here for them. Whether it be finding ways that we differentiate our instruction to them, just while they navigate through this distance learning, if they just need someone to share encouraging words, or if it's just to listen. We're still here and we care and we can't wait to see them again. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Vicki. It was really great to hear about your program and how you've adapted the online learning into a well-being focus for our students. It's very important. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.